Plus it's low carb. <laughs> Lexi here, and I'm with Chad the Dad and Hunter, two of the best places in New York that have the best pizza, Joe's Pizza, which is an institution they've been making pizza here since 1970s, so we brought the Pizza Sensei along, Chad the Dad, so we can try the pizza, rate it, see how it falls on our scale. Let's do it! Go ahead, guys. How excited are you? So excited. This is unbelievable. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 and 10 out of 10. Delicious. Wow. Really good. I hope that's not garlic. It looks like garlic salt. Crap. I thought it was Parmesan cheese. It smells like cheese. garlic salt, too. Yeah. I thought it was Parmesan cheese and I put way too much garlic salt on my pizza. I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's a little too garlicky for me right now. <laughs> Make out with Lexi later. <laughs> There's so much garlic salt, that's <laughs> making me tear up. So Vampire good. beware. <laughs> Boom. Finished it. Folks, it brought him to tears. Either the pizza or the garlic sauce, I'm not sure. Either way, it's worth the risk. I mean, you're at Joe's Pizza. I'm looking at all these pictures of when I gotta eat this. Yeah. The good pizza, uh, the crust was amazing. The sauce was good. We felt like the sauce would have a little bit more flavor. It's still good. One small criticism, the uh, the pepperoni, when they put it on there, there wasn't a lot of love put in there. So they just kind of threw it on there. I had two pepperoni piles in the middle of my pepperoni pizza. But that being said, great taste in the pepperoni, good flavor. Overall, I'd give it a uh, eight and a half. Good quality New York style pizza. Do you think it was worth the trek? Absolutely. M must, you gotta come. If you're in New York, you must do it. It's a, it's a subway ride, it's easy. As long as you can get through the subway door. With that, but if you get through that subway door, it's <laughs> you could feel like the history in there. Like, I don't know, you feel so New York. Obviously, I messed up my pizza by thinking I was getting Parmesan, oh. garlic, garlic salting it. The crust, the texture, the balance uh, made me cry, brought me to tears. And uh, it was a lot of work to get through there. My mouth's a little hot, I'm a little bit on fire right now, <laughs> but I liked it. I thought the pizza was delicious. I can smell your breath. <laughs> Do you need more garlic? Do the sauce need more garlic? <laughs> I think Joe's needs to put a little more, more garlic, garlic in their red sauce. Like their Way sauce. Better. The crust was really good. The dough was really, really good. The crust's on point. Awesome. Cheese felt really fresh and really good. Now we're on I to the next that. one. Patsy's Pizza. Excited. We made it to Patsy's finally. This is a little bit more upscale than Joe's Pizza. This looks like a sit-down restaurant. So I guess we'll be sitting down to try to it. Eat pizza. <laughs> Very high quality, fresh mozzarella, as Joe Panic would call it. That's Italian for mozzarella. That's Italian for mozzarella. The moisture is seeping into the crust, so it's a little bit soggy. It's it, almost like it's not thick, but it is. So far, very good pepperoni, and the cheese is phenomenal. This is an amazing. There's a tingle in the sauce. Fresh basil. Spice. There's a fresh basil flavor. Not, not that, there's a tingle in the sauce. It tingles and tickles the tongue. This is one of those uh, Pizza Sensei hacks. Okay. You go to a pizza place like this, phenomenal. Great cheese, very good sauce, but the crust is a little bit doughy. You do it to take the crust off. Now we have perfect crust. It's crunchy, it's got great texture. We're gonna take the cheese and the sauce, stick that right on there. Now what you have is the greatest, most perfect pizza bites I've ever tasted. Pizza Once I used that pizza hat, uh, it took it up to about a nine and a half. So overall, at Patsy's, I'm gonna give it a nine five. I like that it's a sit down restaurant here at Patsy's. That's what's good. And then you can sit, have pizza, and chat. So like the ambiance is a lot better here. Whereas I feel like in Joe's, I 
is running into people all the time and like I couldn't get quite comfortable. In terms of like overall taste, for us, I just love the dough and the crust over at Joe's. I feel like this is more authentic Italian pizza though, but I'm in New York so I want New York pizza and I feel like Joe's is like a classic American New York pizza. I give this one a solid eight. I felt love in this pizza. You did? Fresh basil, everything was, was perfectly spaced with the pepperonis. The sauce. The sauce. I felt love. Can you feel the love I think I would go back to both if I had time. I would do. You would? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. If I'm in a hurry, I'm going to Joe's. If I got time to sit back, relax, and enjoy my friends and family, I'm coming to pass. If you guys like this video, please turn to that like button. Big thank you for Chad's dad for being here. Our Let's Get Lexi official pizza expert. And big thank you to Hunter for being here. And let us know in the comments below which pizza looked better to you guys. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please be sure to do so because we post videos here every single week. See you guys in the chat. Bye. In my opinion, the bigger the pepperoni, the better. That sounds weird, but. <laughs> So. They were like small and thick here where they were like the bigger, thinner at Joe's. Right.